<clears throat> All right, everybody. Episode 38 of Feast with the Beast. Let me make sure everything's kind of in the right spot. I'm running a little bit behind schedule, which is really nothing new. Let me see how this is. Maybe I need to crank this down. See how that is. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what you can see. All right. You can see pretty much. Let's take it that way a little bit. All right. Okay, everybody. Just a couple minutes and we'll be all set. We'll be set. Actually, let me move this bad boy over here. We are using a barrel house today. And we're using the Grill Beast Grill Grate in it. See that? I, uh, I just started my charcoal. It's gonna take a couple minutes for that. And we'll be riding already. Okay, let me grab a couple things out the house and we'll be set. Everybody ready for the day? I need to adjust my camera a little bit. Just a little bit. Let me adjust this one up. Let's see how that goes. Let's see. I'm still cut off. Still cut off. get it right the Instagram one's perfect you know what we take it down how about that yeah I think that'll work we'll make that work all right everybody Pat is about to call me and um, let me see. Oh man, it was a heck of a birthday. I actually, uh, so for who doesn't, here, let me take this off. Welcome to the show. Episode 38 of Feast with the Beast. And this is our uh, Grill Beast VIP uh, Fatty Challenge Edition. So, uh, here, hold on. What up, everybody? Hey, Pat. All right, man. We're started, right? Okay. Okay. All right, cool. All right, so Pat's getting his stuff going, and uh, we're, we are getting started here. I know we're like a couple minutes late, a couple minutes behind, but technically, I was supposed to be up at like 6 o'clock this morning, but I don't think I went to bed till like 3.30, maybe 4 o'clock. Uh, the party was a little, uh, uh, I don't want to say out of control, but it was cool. And it was just uh, me and the kids, 
and we had a great time. They got me a, uh, a fire pit for my birthday. So we did hot dogs and marshmallows and all that on the, uh, on the grill. And the cool thing is, is our 22 inch grill beast grill grate fits right on the, uh, um, on the top of it. So uh, it's a mess over there right now. Like literally everything is sprawled everywhere. It looks like a tornado. It looks like we had a toga party maybe last night, but um, it was really, really cool. Uh, I want to say it was probably the best birthday I've ever had, truly. It was so, f my, my, my youngest daughter um, arranged a, um, a, a little surprise birthday party for me, my 12 year old. So that was really cool. And I don't really, I'm not like into parties and stuff, but um, it, it was really nice. She went to a friend of hers, made me a cake. It was a brookie, a brookie cake or something like that. And um, it was awesome, man. So, uh, and I know uh, lots and lots and lots of people uh, wish me well for my birthday. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, it is very hard for me to answer each and every one, um, but I will do my best. Uh, so, who we got on this morning? I know we got a bunch of people on uh, Instagram, and uh, we got and we got 61 um, on uh, Facebook right now. So, I um, appreciate you everybody coming through. So, we had the Fatty Challenge. So I think we have, the last I looked, we have 43 entries so far. We want to beat, we want 100 entries, okay? Um, and if, I think what I said, because uh, I was trying to remember, and I was talking to, to Rick Albertini the other day, or yes, yesterday, um, and I think what I said was, if we reach 100 entries, I will pick a random winner. So we're gonna have first, second, third place, and then a random winner if we hit 100 entries. Right now we're only at 43. I know we're gonna have some more today. I really thought my entry was gonna be um, very unique, and I still say it's gonna be unique, but there's a couple people that um, used a similar ingredient to mine. Um, so I, I wasn't as slick as I kind of thought I was. And uh, But mine's still gonna be very simple because I don't wanna taste or change the the flavor of this one special ingredient. I really want that to be the star of the show. Um, so what I have, I have crawfish boudin from Jameson. Jameson won um, uh, the boudin competition um, in Lafayette last year. And if you get some of his boudin, you'll know exactly why he won. It is the best boudin I've ever had. It's so creamy and I'm, oh my God, it's got so much flavor. And because it's so creamy, like usually, um, it's kind of hard to, to describe, like boudin, for those of you who don't know, there's different types of boudin, um, but it's mixed with rice um, and usually has uh, a pork in it or crawfish or whatever. It can be made with all different types of meat. Um, it's ground up mixed with rice and other uh, ingredients and um, seasonings and put into casing like a sausage, right? So. So this is, I mean, this is a piece of raw boudin right here. Okay, and it's crawfish boudin. All right, so um, um, that is gonna be really my main ingredient. And then because it's so loose, and I didn't wanna do ground meat, like hamburger or sausage to go with it because that's gonna take away from the flavor of my boudin. And I didn't want that to happen. So I'm gonna fillet a flank steak to roll it up in that casing, okay? I know there might even be people out there say, well, that's not a fatty. I'm gonna say it's wrapped in bacon. It's a fatty. So uh, that's gonna be my version of the fatty. That's how I can get it the way I want it to be. And um, um, I actually just got turned on to this dude's uh, boudin uh, last week. I had to go buy it. I bought $75 worth. And um, it is, I'm telling you, um, I don't know if somebody can put a link to, I think you have to actually order it off of Facebook. I don't think he even has a website, but when I talk to him, he, uh, he takes his orders through Facebook and I, I don't know if he mails it out. I don't know. You'd have to call him or uh, send him an email and find out exactly how you get it if you're not um, in this area. Um, Lucas, he's way too busy. Um, so yeah, Lucas and Shannon had their event yesterday. I'm really curious to know how it went. 
Um, I, I have no doubts that it went great, but uh, you got to give those dudes a lot of freaking credit, man. That's that's a feat that like I haven't even attempted it yet because um, I know it's a lot of work and I just don't have the bandwidth right now. Maybe I can get them to help me put it together. I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, I guess it's time to get started. I got my charcoal ready. I wasn't even thinking. Huh? So, um, somebody just asked, what can you use um, in the fatty for a fatty challenge? So, you have to be in our Grill Beast VIP uh, Facebook group to uh, be in the challenge. And if you're not, you just go, just look it up on Facebook and it's Grill Beast VIP. Um, answer, there's two questions to answer. Answer those questions and you're in. The, uh, the challenge ends at midnight tonight, central time. So, um, um, a guy from Ireland. How many people we got on right now, Pat? 85 on right now. So, look, if people can share this, because we need to get like over 100. If we can get a couple hundred in here, that'd be nice. Um, so if you guys can share this, that'd be great. We're about to announce our, our winners from last week's share. So we have a random share winner and we have a most share winner. So the person who um, shares the most um, wins a prize, which is a choice of any one of these Grill Beast barbecue tools back here. Um, or maybe even one of our fancy new trucker hats. Look at that. See, we got 3D. Actually, I don't even, I have it listed on the site, but I don't have a link on the site. But if you get our newsletter, you got a link to get this hat. This is, I'm telling you, when you get this hat, you're going to feel the quality in the hat. It is the best hat we've ever made. Um, so you could get one of those too. And um, let me see. Are you grilling this weekend? We hope so. Upload a quick picture of your oh okay yeah so, so all right so somebody just um announced a so we have um newsletter challenges or newsletter contests too that are exclusive to if you're not in the newsletter you don't even hear about the contest right so i'm not even going to announce that contest because uh if you go to vip.grillbeast.com sign up for our v vip and it's free and then that'll put you right into the newsletter You'll get coupons for our website. You'll get um, notifications of new products. You'll get notifications of newsletter only um, uh, challenges or contests, right? So um, I am running my mouth a lot this morning. And uh, I think I'm post, you know, like I'm just goofing off because my brain's dead. Um, I woke up like at six then at 6 30 then at seven then at 7 30 and then at eight i didn't get up to 8 30 and um then i was still slow getting going so anyway uh we're gonna do our boudin challenge i mean our our fatty challenge which is gonna be mine's a flank steak boudin fatty all right so um i have to fillet the flank steak do my bacon weave cut my boudin open roll it up and I'm going to be putting it on the barrel house. So I actually wanted to have a finished one for y'all, but I couldn't get my ass out of bed. And, uh, um, oh yeah, so somebody put in a link, uh, Richard uh, put in a link to uh, Jameson's uh, Facebook page. I'm telling you, if you can get some of this boot in, you will not be sorry. And I, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm so glad I got some of it. Here, let me dump my charcoal in the uh, barrel house and uh, we'll get this party started, all right? on the uh, charcoal I wasn't thinking usually I uh, whenever I do the barrel house I um, I use my small charcoal chimney but uh, I wasn't thinking I filled the big one up so I got like enough charcoal to do a daggone brisket there we go alright that's good let me uh, 
pull this in a little closer let me know if you can't see let me know if you can see uh, is anybody growing anything you should be growing fatties if you haven't already put a fatty in the challenge all right it is so hot out here I'm sweating my I'm sweating that was so close how many people we got on fat so Pat's trying to count but I think John Starskovich is also trying to help out on uh, counting these um, counting these up let me see um, so we have all right I don't know um, so we have 426 shares from last week and I don't know that we have a definite winner yet they're trying to count because we have people that shared over 20 times and um, I know we have people really competing on this so we really want to get it right um, we might even have somebody that's done 30 times I don't know it's a lot so let me um, so something I'm going to do today that I really usually don't do, I'm actually going to use a product that we are coming out with in the next couple weeks. And usually I don't try, I try not to do that. I don't show a product until we're ready to sell it. But uh, this is just the perfect time to show this product, right? Um, I don't even have the packaging for it yet. So see that? It's a uh, grilling mesh. So, and this is like the perfect um, food so like you can do fish on this, you can do a lot of things, but you can lay your uh, your uh, fatty on here. You can carry it right on over to your grill or smoker or whatever, set it in there, leave it on this. And then when it's time to take it off, you just lift the whole thing out. And that's exactly what I, and see it's flexible. So even though it's bigger than the diameter of the barrel, it can curl right around. It's not gonna hurt anything. Or you can even cut this uh, to different sizes. It's gonna come in packs of three, okay? and. Um, um, they are actually being packaged up right now so hopefully uh, the first week of September we'll have these available but again I usually don't like to show these right away so what you want to do um, we'll do I think I'm gonna do the hardest thing first we're gonna fillet this bad boy right here all right so if, you, if you've never filleted a uh, flank steak um it's really not hard but it is uh somewhat tricky dag on it oh here we go and you can see i'm using my beast nitrile we've had a few people uh get these and i'm telling you the uh the strength of these bad boys i'm always worried i'm going to do this on camera and break it because i'm sure there's there's going to be a limit right but I'm telling you, they stretch. Now, for those of you who don't know, once your hands start sweating, it's, you, you wanna get these on before your hands start sweating because the, um, the nitrile sticks to, to dampness, right? So, um, all right, so here we go. Got that full of blood, a bloody mess. All right, so here we go. So because I wanna roll my fatty this away, that's actually going to be just about the right size. It's going to be a tough one to fillet, though. It is going to be tough to fillet. Yeah. You know, I bought that sharpener that they show on TV. I got it at Walmart. What's that thing called, Pat? I need to get Pat a speaker. Does anybody know where there's like a, a speaker to make like a speaker phone that, that's Bluetooth to a phone? If you know of one of those that are good, can you put a link in there? Because I need one of those. That way, um, oh, we're almost a minute delay. All right. So anyway, so let me um, let me see if I can fillet this bad boy. You definitely need like a really sharp knife. 
Oh uh, yeah, so um, so yeah, I bought that Bavarian um, uh, sharpener, and it's like the first time I used it. Maybe the first two times I used it, it did a really really good job on my knives, or I felt like it did. Um, but then it doesn't seem to do a very good job anymore. Pat says his still works great. Maybe it's me. So look. Yeah, so look. See that? Oh, wow, that is a long delay. So Pat's telling me on the feed, uh, he's just now seeing me stretch my gloves. And that's been, I don't know, it feels like five minutes ago. So like this is like, you know what, I probably, maybe I should have got my brisket knife out to do this because then I could have done it and like, because really you want to do like, you don't want to keep cutting into it like I'm doing. I'm almost butchering this one. And I'm trying to show you. All right, Pat says he's got the winner. So, um, let me take this bad boy. It's funny, the older you get, the younger you feel. I feel like I'm like 26 today, man. All right, here we go. Oh, you know what I don't? Look. Oh, Pat feels like he's 65 today. He's been, he's, he, yeah, he's been camping in a tent in 100 degree weather. So, all right, so look at this. Isn't that beautiful? I'm almost like a pro at this now. I've done this a few times. So, uh, so now we have two pieces. I can really do two boot, in, I mean, two uh, fatties out of this. And that's actually what I'm gonna do. What? We got 200 people? Wow. That is uh, freaking impressive. All right. So, um, do you want to know how, do you want to see how hard the party was last night? And like, literally, the kids didn't drink, but you would think they did. I got one passed out right here. She got up this morning, took a shower. She came out here and uh, she fell asleep. So we can uh, we can make fun of that here soon. Um, all right, so I am so happy to hear we got. So here's the thing, I don't know. We should have a contest live right now. What do you think, Pat? I think so. Look, we got 231. So look, um, I think we could uh, give away a brand new trucker hat. And look, it's got 3D embroidery on it. That is cool. That is like. And the mud, the mesh, oh man, the mesh is, um, it's the shit. Okay, so, uh, how do I want to do this? So that over there, I'm just going to throw these. Let me move this, move this. I got a lot to do here. All right. So, uh, I'm going to throw some uh, parchment paper out, wax paper, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to do our bacon weave real quick. All right, bacon weave, if you've never done it before, is like a piece of cake. And basically, um, I always just use a, a whole uh, pack of bacon. Um, that's just the way it works out. Oh man, I can't get a hold of it, I can't get a grip on it. 200, how many people we got now? So what's gonna be the contest, Pat? Um, So Pat's computer is moving really slow. We're trying to figure out what we can do a contest on real quick. Um, I think it should be like, you know what, screw that. Let's cut this damn thing out. All right, let's get this. I'm gonna throw this aside. I cut into my parchment paper. Let's get rid of that and get another piece going here. I know I'm contaminating everything. It's okay. It's okay. All right. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to lay our bacon out. Right. And just so I make sure I get it the right. Yep. It's just going to be ex exactly the width of this uh, uh, cutting board. 
So, so what'd you say, Pat? Uh, we're trying to figure out what we can do a contest on so somebody can win a, uh, a hat right here on the spot. Oh, no, it's going to be too easy. I was going to say, guess how old I just turned. Um, all right, so look, we're going to go halfway. Bam. This is literally going to take minutes to do this. It, it looks like it's, it feels like it's going slow, but uh, it, it really, um, it's, it's very fast. All right, so I don't know what to do a contest on, right on the fly like that. I know we've done them on the fly before. Does anybody have an idea? And if you come up with the idea, that means you cannot be in the contest. So it's catch 22, right? See that? Oh, does anybody, does anybody know how many pieces of bacon it's gonna take to do a bacon weave? Right? So how many pieces of bacon am I gonna use to do a bacon weave? And you have to do the, you have to put the answer in before I finish. Like really before I get halfway. So I already know because it's the same every time. It's the same amount of bacon in every one pound pack of at least black label. Uh, and it's regular for if it's regular cut. Okay. So is anybody throwing any numbers out there? All right. So and it's going to be the first one we notice. And I'm going to tell you what the, do we how many numbers we got out there, Pat? Do we have a. Okay, all right, so the first one that we see that said 16 is the one that wins. <laughs> Starsky, John Starskovich, wins a trucker hat. I know. Yeah, right. No, so let's do, uh, let's do another one. Um, all right, let's find another way to win. I don't know. That was too easy, I think. Because I actually gave that, and anybody who's done a bunch of these, they already know the answer. And I did a, a live feed um, a, two weeks ago, and I, and I gave everybody that answer too. So uh, another piece of bacon here, and we'll be rolling. Uh-oh. Man, I can barely fit that last piece in. Does John really win? Yeah. Yeah, nobody said 15. So actually, look. And I'm not counting these pieces, but it's always 16 pieces. It For me, it's I'm telling you, every pack I've ever counted, it's 16 pieces. So there you go. And then look, there we go. See this? Now, I got my bacon weave, and I'm putting my flank steak. So like most of the time, people do ground meat at this point, and um, I'm not doing ground meat, as you can see. Okay, so all that um, I got it in that cubby. Eight by eight, right? Yep. So um, so anyway, so now you got your flank steak. Like I said, I know there's gonna be people who say this is not a fatty. It's a fatty because I'm I, w I want it to be a fatty. All right, this is my version. Okay, because I don't want my star to show to change. Okay, and so, and I'm going to cut these out of the casing. Okay, look at that. This is going to be beautiful. Look at that. Oh my God. I know it, it might not look like because you haven't tasted this in the finished product, it might not look appetizing as it is. But I'm telling you, this is the best boudin anywhere. I've, I'm telling you, I've had boudin. Um, so many time, kinds of boudin, and really, I'm very picky on boudin too. Um, very, I mean, I'm like very picky on boudin, um, and it's very hard for me to even like boudin. Um, are you kidding me? 347 people. That is, th this might be our best uh, show yet, and it's the one I was probably least prepared for. So look at that. So it almost looks like poo coming out. But it's not. I'm telling you, this is like... 
this is so so look look so to 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 the untrained eye this does not look good but you can see let me show you look at this see the rice and i don't know all the little stuff that he's got minced up i mean let me see instagram see that this is like this this is like heaven in your mouth right okay so i actually think this is probably no i can stick another i can stick another one in here all right this is going to be so good when it gets done and i got people working repackaging stuff um for those of you who don't know we're repackaging our uh beastly barbecue set into individual pieces so you don't have to buy the set anymore if you just want the uh the spatula or the tongs or the mop uh you can buy it separately now and so i have people here um, repackaging getting rid of the uh the old way we did it so here you go so in a way this is kind of cheating right because i let jameson um put all my ingredients together for me and i just took his work his hard work and um and turned it into my fatty oh my god that smells so um if you haven't had crawfish before what'd you say are you serious all right this is gonna be tough I'm gonna do it this way oh my god I might have to take some of this out yeah I got too much in there hold up I probably should have just put one more in let me see let me just do this yeah here we go yeah crawfish uh, boudin yeah it is I'm telling you it is super super good I actually have um, I don't know how well this is going to hold up it's not technically perfect, but that's okay. Yeah, I um, I uh, I don't want cheese in this. I mean, look, I don't have anything against cheese, unless it's cream cheese. Um, no, actually, yeah. So, Rick hooked me up with this I I didn't know anything about Jameson's uh, uh, boudin until Rick told me about it all right look I am basically done let me see some is that thing even gonna fit in here Jesus Christ this thing is huge hold on let me figure this out Let me, uh, I gotta lift this up, lift it up, put it under there, and then watch this. Bam! There you go. Dude, this is, uh, well, it's a pound of bacon. The, um, the flank steak was two pounds. I got probably a little bit better than half of that. And then um, I probably got a couple pounds of, so this is every bit of six pounds of meat. Show's over. No. Uh, Pat, how many people we got on here? Wow. So this show is officially 
the highest um because pat said we hit how many 400 and what pat said we hit 409 people that is the most we've ever had on a, um, a facebook live now we've had more on um like an amazon live feed we had like nine thousand on an amazon live feed that was freaking crazy man it was crazy um so this is it I'm actually done so here I'm gonna wipe my mouth with something I wiped up grease with um, so here this is like who cannot be on the internet oh okay Pat was telling me something he's talking to his kids though um, so look this is it. I really wish I had a finished one to show you, uh, but I, I just couldn't get out of bed this morning, man. I had a party last night. Me, me and the kids were partying last night. We were, um, and when I say partying, they weren't drinking. I was. I drank a couple bottles of wine, and um, that that's a lot. Um, I didn't get I didn't get to bed until. At least three o'clock this morning, if not three thirty or more, and uh, so I didn't get up in time to get one of these in the smoker. I couldn't get, I couldn't do it. Yeah, I can. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to come back on um, in a couple hours when it's done, two, probably two and a half hours, something like that, and uh, I'll show you the finished uh, finished product. Um, and listen. The barrel is like to me the perfect thing. Like the last time I did a meatloaf, I did it in the uh, in the barrel house. Like in my meatloaf is, I mean, I guess I say this about everything I cook, just like everybody says it about their own cooking. My meatloaf is the bomb. It really is, and I know this is going to be the, sh the the stuff, right? So I'll come back on in a couple hours and I'll show you the finished product and uh, we'll chow down on it together and. Um, Okay, so here's the, all right, so, no, it can't be the first person. So, all right, here's the thing. So, um, we gave Starsky another hat, right, or a hat for winning. We're going to have another contest when we come back on, and um, we're going to give away um, something else. Pat, did we figure out who shared the most? Oh, so, and if you have not shared this uh, feed, please share it now. Pat, how many shares do we have? Well, take and refresh your page, and it should. So here's 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 something. Okay, so wow, that's a we got a long delay going here. So I know people are going to say, "Why am I not seasoning this?" I'm telling you, if you have this dude's boudin, you don't want to change the flavor. I don't want to put like I like to taste the bacon, right? I don't need to season it. Um, some people put barbecue sauce on this. But people do all different kinds of things. I really want the meat to speak for itself. Now I could have put salt and pepper on the flank steak, but I didn't because actually I just forgot to. Um, but it's going to have the bacon flavoring it up, and it's going to have the crawfish boudin on the inside giving it flavor. And so, and we're not going to alter the flavor with a bunch of seasonings and rubs and all that stuff because um, really every one of these um, items. Um, are awesome by themselves without seasoning without a bunch of rubs um, and if you get quality meat um, you don't have to put a ton of rubs on it um, and like when we come out with our rubs you're gonna see like the difference um, in the quality and in the junk that you get in some of these other rubs um, I know I've been talking about this crap for uh, a year about rubs but um, partnering with the right people to do this the way I want to do it, it's just taking a long time. It's just like products, right? Every time we come out with a product, it takes me, it takes us like six to eight months to, to do it because trying to get the right partner, uh, which is a factory in that case, to, to do the manufacturing. All right, so look, I'm putting this on. This thing, doesn't it look beautiful? It looks awesome. Oh, yeah, so look. And in case, you, how many people we got on right now? 
Oh, wow, we lost a lot. All right, that's because I'm running my mouth. All right, um, if you haven't shared the feed, share it. We're about to announce our winners of last week's uh, feed. Share, we have a random winner, and we have a most shared winner. So, and when we say share it as many times as you can, it's not, you can't share it in Messenger because we can't count that. Um, you can share it to people's personal pages or other groups if the groups allow it, right? You don't want to just spam the group and they don't like that stuff. Um, so you want to make sure that they don't mind. If, if, if we're talking about a certain product, um, there's going to be a, um, a group for that. Look, there's NASCAR groups that love fatties. There's the Weber group that loves fatties. There's bacon groups that love fatties. There's, uh, there's probably a fajita group or a flank steak group or whatever that loves fatties. So um, there'd be creative on where you share it. Don't you share it to, now you don't want to share it to like your kid's school page. That's not the same. But we don't, we're not really that picky yet. All right, Pat, who, who's the most shared winner? All right, so the way we're counting it, it looks like Jeffrey Henry won last week's most shared feed. Uh, and then who's the random winner? Steve Bove. That is crazy. Steve Bove. How you doing? Steve is in our group. Jeff's in our group too, right? Yeah, so yeah, both of you guys are in our VIP group. Um, so look, uh, you need to contact uh, Pat to claim your prize and you guys get a choice of any one of our barbecue tools um, and uh, congratulations we truly appreciate you sharing our feed and our business and our love for barbecue um, across Facebook and so look you can share it with people on Instagram too. let people know right because you can comment you can you know again we don't want you to spam because we don't like that shit either but look I need to get this in in about two and a half hours, I'm going to be back on, and we're going to share this finished product with y'all. I know I like I like rubbing this down. It's, it just feels awesome, um, and I cannot wait to do it. So anyway, peace out. Uh, thank you. How many? What time is it, Pat? I'm done 15 minutes early, but at the same time, I got to come back on for a finished product. So, um, so am I really done 15 minutes early? I'd say not. Okay, look. Uh, this thing is going in the smoker right now. Let me get it in there. So it actually is going to barely fit. It is going to barely fit. Russell. Oh, so John is donating his hat. See, look. See that? See the uh, the mesh was too big for the barrel, but it doesn't matter because it's flexible and all the smoke and all the flavor from the charcoal and the wood and all that is going to get into that and permeate that's the only flavors i want i want the bacon the flank steak and the crawfish boudin and whatever smoky flavor i can get into that bad boy all right so it's going to be cooking at like 220 about 250 degrees is what that's going to run at um if you guys don't know about the barrel house cooker it, i'm telling you it is the best barrel uh, the, the barrels I don't think are quite back in stock yet. I don't believe. And so I, I talked to uh, uh, Andrew over there at Barrel House. And um, so they're making improvements. Um, and, that, and that's what's taking so long. So it's no big deal. Um, it, it, I'm telling you, it is the best barrel out there. Um, you can even tell just the way. It, I don't even want to get in. I'll talk for 20 minutes on that at least all right i'm done i'm gonna be back on two and a half hours thanks for coming on i appreciate everybody and um and again i appreciate everybody's uh, birthday wishes they gave me yesterday and share and like the feed and um we'll be set all right peace out everybody Right, everybody.
This is what we got. This is my fatty. Let me see, what do I got here? I might have to just bring that camera right on around the side. Take that off. Welcome to the show, everybody. Part two of the Grill Beats Fatty Challenge. So I haven't checked to see. Um, let me see how many people we got on. I don't have anybody helping me right now. Um, let me see what's happening. Uh, so look, uh, it goes for this feed too. If we can share this bad boy. Um, to as many people as we can that'd be much appreciated we got 36 people in there right now um, let me turn my volume down here so look we are uh, that's how much of a delay it is I already have the uh, screen the splash screen off but it's showing um, still all right so now it just now disappeared all right so here we go let me turn this down. So look, this this bad boy, it looks really good. It's not gonna hold up like I wanted it to. Look at that. Uh oh. Look, I'm it's so it is so juicy. Look at it. Look at the juice running out of it. This thing is not gonna hold up. So, so I know when I cut this, it may look like somebody puked, but what I do know is it's really good, and that's really all I care about. So, oh yeah, here we go. All right. There it is. Can you see it? Can y'all see that? Let me, uh, so that thing is, is full of boudin. Here, you know what? Let me see. Can everybody see this? So that is full of crawfish boudin. Look at that smoke ring. With that flank steak that's full of crawfish boudin and it is going to be delicious delicious let me cut a piece <laughs> this is what i thought it is it is not going to hold up and that's okay Here's the thing. Everything is really good. The flank steak is good. Bacon's good. Mmm. The boudin, I'm telling you, you need to check out his boudin, Jameson. It is kick ass. Mmm. It. Let me pull this camera over here. So, let me see what anybody's saying. <clears throat> I'm telling you, that it, is, it is exactly the way I wanted it. Like, it might not look pretty. I don't know. I think it looks beautiful because I know what it tastes like. Right? Can you all see that good? Yeah, there you go. So, look. Um, if you can share this feed, that'd be much appreciated too. So, um, so Robert, that is not sausage. That is uh, crawfish boudin from Jameson. This is a flank steak that I filleted and then I got it wrapped in bacon. So no sausage in there at all. Um, 
Oh, yeah. So Richard uh, posted a link to uh, uh, Boudin by J Jameson, his Facebook page. That's actually, I think, the only way to order it. Um, I'm telling you, I keep harping on it. I'm telling you, it is freaking fantastic. Um, so as you can see, I use my shovel to get it off of the, uh, the screen. Screen made it easy getting it uh, in and out of the uh, smoker though. I I cooked this thing on the um, barrel house vertical cooker. I could have used the uh, the Rectech bullseye, but I um, I decided not to for a couple different reasons. Um, so much grease. Um, and uh, it's going to be dripping from this. I was really, I didn't want it to uh, catch on fire in there. You know what I mean? It, it, I'm sure it would have been fine, but I don't know. I just didn't feel comfortable with it. Um, and I hadn't been using my barrels as much lately, and I kind of felt like I was neglecting them. So I dug them out. But um, I tell you what, um, it turned out really good. And I, in, in the barrel house, I'm t a nice beautiful smoky flavor you know i used um i think it's bnb &B charcoal it's the first time i actually ever used it um and then a, a, a stick of apple so what else we got what else we got anybody else got any questions oh my uh my uh my comments oh there they are oh uh, dad miss what awesome what the heck? You want to hug? All right. So my daughter's been playing with makeup. No, my cousin, my sister, so I don't know. What All she right. Is. So yeah. So that's oh, yeah, going, going that side. All right. <laughs> Scram. All right. She's trying to do a picture. <laughs> All right. You're trying to get makeup on me? Why? No. That's exactly what she's doing. Uh uh. A sucker. I'm the sucker, I guess. Yeah. All right, so uh, I don't know how many people we got on. Got 86 people. So if you're just coming on, and if you didn't see part one of uh, episode 38, Feast with the Beast, this morning at 10 a.m. Central Time, go back to the go to the Grill Beast Business Facebook page, and you'll see it. It was it was just a couple hours ago, like three hours ago, and I showed you how I I did a uh, bacon weave. And I did a, um, uh, I filleted a flank steak and I brought out my uh, crawfish boudin, all right? So, and I'm telling you, look how, it, it looks good. It really actually does look pretty good. Um, I need to quit eating on it so I can get some pictures. So, that's, that's what's happening at my house today. So, as you can see, this is how far behind. Uh oh, we're almost at 100. Can you guys believe we had over 400 people on the feed this morning? Over 400. That is a record for us. Oh, man, it felt so good. Um, right now we're... All right, well, I'm showing 94 people. Uh, do you grill boudin like bratwurst? Oh, so uh, Robert is sending me messages. Robert, I will get to your question right after the feed. Um Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I, I do boudin uh, just like I do a sausage. Uh, but you want to you want to have the heat uh, kind of high if you want the uh, the skin to be crispy. So you can do a low like 300 uh, or whatever. Jennifer, did you um, post your fatty yet? I see Jennifer Bates on here, but I haven't seen her fatty. I don't know if she's uh, uh, posted it or not. This is my fatty. Jennifer, were you on this morning? I got a, craw a flank steak crawfish uh, boudin fatty. All right. But yeah, you basically cook the boudin just like you do um, um, sausage. So you can see how much of a, a delay it is right here. And I'm, I'm losing people. So see, that's, that's what you guys are seeing when. All right. Again, let me show this real quick again. It actually looks really good in person. I don't know how it looks over on the screen. So um, that's it. I'm glad everybody was on this morning. I'm glad y'all came back on today. 
uh, this afternoon. And let me see, I tried out the B&B on natural energy this weekend and worked great. Very, yeah, so um, this is the first time I used a BB, B and b um, charcoal, and I, and I used mine on the barrel house too. And uh, so I don't know what the result is for ash, but it did a great job on cooking. I know that. Um, that's it. All right, I'm out of here. Boot in is already cooked. You just have to. Yeah, so um, that's right. The boot in is actually steamed. So it is, technically it is already cooked, but um, I like to cook mine, um, and just like a lot of sausages are already cooked, but I like to cook mine um, just a little bit more and get a little bit crispy if I can on the outside. But I'm actually gonna do a crawfish boudin hash, because I got a bunch of boudin. So uh, anyway, check out Jameson's uh, boudin. It's, it's literally the best. Uh, mine was venison, Italian sausage, home ground chuck, stuffed with sautéed onions and mushrooms. John, that actually sounds pretty daggone good. Uh, ooh, a fatty cookbook. Great idea. And we got to erase that comment before somebody steals that idea. All right. Y'all uh, have a great day. Peace out. And uh, we're back up to 76, 72. And uh, appreciate y'all coming back on here. I'm rambling now, and I think I just wrapped this puppy up. All right, peace out.